watch. Mario Loki does a lot of pressuring in the air, a lot of aerials. And if Game & Watch can just up B and just shut all, all your pressure down, right. it's, it's kind of hard for Mario to really push forward. Well, we're going to see how Tiny Toasters handles this matchup going into the Game 1. Monty versus Tiny Toasters. Winners quarterfinals. Let's get it. Hell yeah, let's get it. Right now, we see Monty kind of taking charge. It's definitely... They, these two characters do the same exact thing, but right now it's frame data to frame data. That's why Mr. Game & Watch probably contests Mario yeah, so well in the matchup. see what I'm saying? Right yeah. off the bat, he tries to do an aerial to pressure, and it's like, nah, bro, please get out of my zone. Ooh, that was a nasty first stock. First stock. Already. Honestly, very dominating first stock. We'll see if Tiny Tosis can clap back to some sort of capacity, but the Nairs and the up air train, I don't know. I think Monty has a pretty good uh, argument for Keeping this lead. I wonder what frame uh, Kate comes out. I'm not sure if he can cape the up airs, but it's kind of looking like a free 50% off an air, and then Tiny Toasters unfortunately has to keep up with that. Hon honestly, getting hit with Game & Watch is a test of, yeah, you're going to pay the Game & Watch tax, but the situation after, are you able to do 50-60% back? Hmm. I don't think, this Mario's really struggling, especially at the ledge. He's flipping bacon, making sure that he's not getting on that stage and just catching every single landing. Monty, oh my keeping goodness. the lead. Only losing that 14%? Gap. Oh, it's, it's hard. It's, it's a really rough argument here for Tiny Toasters. But I mean, there's a whole entire game too, and he has this advantage right now. He's keeping him up. These up airs, the that forward air, that's crazy. Clean. That was clean. That was so clean. That was clean. Ah, uh, but uh, as clean as it is, my boy is still getting mopped up. Uh, a little bit. I mean, he has one other stock in the deficit right now. But I mean, we'll see what happens. This, these nares, these uppers, we've seen them before, and he converted off the off the hit stun. So we'll see what goes on. Monty playing very well around the Mario. He's not allowing Tiny Toasters to do any Mario shit. No, he's not. Uh, like I said, Mr. Game & Watch is just Mario faster. That's it. Huh. He's 2D, and he's just doing the same shit. The over and over. The superior 2D. Low key. The 2D The character. older video game character. Making sure that Mario knows it. This guy was here first. That, uh, that downer would have did hella damage. I hate that turtle. It looks like Tiny Toaster seems a little more comfortable after those first two stocks. So maybe going into this game too, they're going to probably play a little better around the Game & Watch. He has the right ideas. I mean, just now we saw the forward smash on the landing key attempt. It's just timing. That's it. He just has to make sure that he gets the timings here. But right now, Monty's going to take the first game. Yeah. Speaking of timing, that was nice. What a frame trap by Monty to take game one. That Monty mentality is going nuts. My <laughs> boy is Einstein. 300 IQ. Fuck with him. The Hawking. <laughs> oh, that was nuts. You didn't even see that Finocchi. Rest oh in peace, God. bro. Rest in peace. That motherfucker was smart. Bro, in a chair. He was smart. Without a voice. Shit. Dude's chair was a computer. That's how smart he is. His brain is doing the whole shit. Stephen Hawking learned from Monty, though. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Game two on Hollow Bastion. What do you think about the stage? Play? I like this stage for Mario, actually. Really? And it seems more of a comfort pick. I've seen Tiny Toasters go to the stage. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's not matchup specific? It's like a Mario thing, this stage? Honestly, I'm not sure if it's a Mario thing, but I have seen him go on this stage before. And honestly, ever since this stage came out, a lot of people found this as their new home because it's a lot different than Smashville. Low key, that middle platform is kind of like suffocating. Where this platform, you have just enough space to play around it. I mean, we see the answer, the counter pick. I mean, he's having the oh, lead. Hell no. And as I say that, the commentary curse, right? Making sure he gets that burrow and then that forward smash confirmed, and he's automatically dead. But the gap is so much closer than it was last game. He's yeah. really adapting. It seems like they figured something out, but they're going to have to figure out a lot more if they want to take a game off of Monty. Monty looking ready for war. Gets that forward throw, though. Good shit right there from Tiny. Oh man, trying to get any sort of spacing in neutral, he gets a seven, gets some recovery, that's, that sucks. It always sucks when you see Mr. Game Watch eat some apples and heal up, Hell because no. now the gap is even wider. You just An have to apple a day up. keeps the Italian oh. away. <laughs> that sucks. Trying to get anything he can, but Monty one step ahead of Tiny Toasters. 
I don't know, we're just gonna see it. Yep. The stock. That's nice. Good. That's good. 63% though, Monty with a very commanding lead. One good combo. One, One good, really combo good combo until he upbeats. One good shrink. <laughs> your catch, your shit better be frame tight. He has to make sure that he catches that upbeat. Make sure he covers all the landings. Make sure he reflects some of these bombs because that is reflectable. He's just not Ooh, doing it. That was nice off the chef. Mm. I don't know. Some of y'all call it bacon. Some of y'all call it chef. No, I, I call it bacon. That shit looks like bacon to me. But he missed the coins. He tried to take his lunch money and couldn't do it. He's so, trying to stay healthy, so he's using turkey bacon. No, the, tur the Canadian. He has the American skin. <laughs> he's reminding him. All right, Monty. The taxes, you gotta pay it. He needs to grab. I was about to say. So Tiny Toasters keeps attacking his shield, and he get he, Monty keeps punishing out of shield. That's all it really yeah. is. But honestly, even if he jumps and tries to get the dash grab, he can just up me. Right. It, it's kind of tough. It seems really tough to play against Mario. I mean, uh, against, oh, against Game, Game Watch, Watch as Mario. He just outframed it. It, it's just, it. it is what it is. They do the same thing. They box at the same close quarters. But Tiny Toaster is keeping it a lot closer than the last game. One good stock here. He could probably do something. But Monty making sure that he's not, and he gets the bomb. Yeah, That's it. There, man. Great showing from both players. I think Tiny Toaster's